Hello, I'm Suman Sudhakaran, assigned to virtually test and analyze the strength of carving knife handle for this carving knife project. We want to evaluate the stresses developed when handle is dropped from a certain height. So you can see I'm logged on to the 3D Experience platform and I notice there is an alert uh, reminding me of a task designated to me. This platform gives me instant access to a variety of apps and online services to design, simulate, and collaborate um, in a unified environment. For this project, I'm assigned the role of Structural Mechanics Engineer, which gives me access to Mechanical Scenario Creation app. This app allows me to perform high-end nonlinear analysis, linear dynamic, nonlinear dynamics, and also material calibration. For the drop test study, I start off with creating a finite element model representation that lets me select the components I want to include for my drop test study. So I have a structural analysis case created. And next, I just need to set up the type of solver I need, in this case, explicit dynamic solver and the step time. Automatically, it generates a tetrahedral mesh and also creates solid section and shell section uh, depending upon the components in the analysis. The feature manager tree and the assistant panel helps me set up the analysis uh, in a guided manner. So I just go ahead and define the material property that completes the solid section definition. I can display the mesh and if needed, I can use the mesh creation app to modify the mesh. I have access to tetrahedral, hexahedral mesh. I can also generate surface mesh, both triangular and quad elements. Mesh Part Manager allows me to edit the mesh and I can define localized mesh settings using local specifications. So I'm just trying to use the linear order element to speed up the analysis. You can use rule-based meshing also to capture uh, mesh for intricate geometry very precisely. For the target, the rigid floor on which the carving knife is dropped, I'm using surface mesh because it's a shell section. I am not interested in plastic deformation for the rigid body, so um, you know, I can just go with the default abstraction uh, rigid body here and surface quad mesh for the surface. So that completes the mesh definition. And now I just need to assign the surface quad mesh to my rigid body definition here and clamp the rigid body um, just in the base so that it is completely fixed. By default, a no penetration type of contact property is assigned to all the components. I can specify normal and tangential behavior if needed. I can also include the friction property and use this customized contact property definition for all the contact interfaces in the model. Surface contact and tie contact detection allows me to automatically select the surfaces. So in this case, I'm using surface contact definition to define no penetration type of surface interaction between the two halves of the carving knife handle. And then for the internal components, I'm just bonding them together using a tight contact. So that completes the most of the pre-processing phase for our analysis. Next comes the restraint. So I'm clamping the base of the target, the rigid floor, and assigning gravity and initial velocity to the carving knife handle. So we can select the components to which the gravity is assigned. So in this case, I'm just applying to the carving knife handle. And then velocity of one and a half meter per second in the negative Z direction. We have simulation check tool that allows me 
to check model and then I can run the analysis either locally or on the cloud. So once the simulation check is complete, I can go ahead and select the number of cores and run the analysis. In this case has been completed very quickly. You can save the animation. We have wide variety of post-processing tools. Besides the different plots, you can also generate XY plots, for example, force displacement. So that was a velocity vector plot. And next, we are going to look at the XY plot from the field data. So in this case, translation and acceleration versus time. We also have a reporting tool to generate the report. I am working in a collaborative environment, so I have the ability to share the data in real time and using the messaging app, I can let my team know that the task has been completed.